Hi, I'm retired Army Sergeant Robert Leonard. I was injured November 11, 2005, when a roadside bomb struck my vehicle and resulted in me losing my right leg below the knee. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Grateful Nation. We're joining forces once again with heroes from Bandit Brigade here in the untamed wilds of Wyoming. There's a lot of game out here. Honoring wounded warfighter Sergeant Robert Leonard. Stop right there. 200 yards, take them. Servicemen and women pay the price to preserve our freedom. Join us as we reconnect wounded warriors with their roots as American sportsmen. And show our thanks as a grateful nation. Field. It almost felt like, you know, we were in Africa traipsing through the Serengeti or something like that. I'm here because of veterans helping veterans. We had an alumni on our show from a few years back. It was an all-dad hunt with Steve Jones. His name is Bryce Cole. Bryce Cole is an Army veteran. I see him. Here comes the big one. All right, you ready? And he had such an outstanding time with us and Steve Jones on that all-dad hunt that uh, he called me several times and contacted me saying that he wanted to do something like Great Formation to help other veterans because it has such a positive influence on him. Okay, Bryce, take him. He's ready. He now is the president of Bandit Brigade Outdoors. I can't see him on the gun. He, he, he's, he's fixing the flip. He's done right there. All right, all right. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. <laughs> all right. Bryce could not be here because of other obligations, but left us in great hands. It is our mission to make sure that the veterans on our events get something out of it. We want to touch people's lives. We want to meet them where they are in their journey and walk alongside them for a little while and make them understand that we care about them. It's really neat to have a legacy in Bryce who was on the show years ago preside over our Texas chapter of our organization and be still so impassioned about what difference a Grateful Nation has made in his life. What a go, man. Nice shot, Thanks. too. Good I shot, too. Groups like Banner Brigade put the majesty of the great outdoors into action to benefit the recovery of warriors like Sergeant Robert Leonard. A tested hunter who's got a Cowboy State combo tag for a whitetail or a muley buck. Over the years, I've hunted quite a few times here in Wyoming. I have great friends that own property from New Mexico. They, they own property here in Wyoming. And uh, from 2007 until about 2010, I came up every year. This is my first time to be back since 2010. And man, it hasn't changed a bit. I still love the place. That is gorgeous. Robert Leonard is a pretty accomplished hunter, and he has gotten a lot of big animals already. He came here with a specific goal in mind. He wanted to shoot just the right animal. He's taken a few nice muleys, because I mean, I'd like to take a white tail, but whatever, whatever happens, happens. And, and I like that, that kind of can-do attitude, that kind of spirit of, if it's a good deer, you know, I'm, 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 I'm happy. Hi, I'm Tim Abel. And I'm retired Army Sergeant Robert Leonard. And you're watching Federal Premium Ammunition's Grateful Nation. 
whenever the ID hit the vehicle, we rolled over into a sewage canal. I got out of the vehicle. Every time I tried to step with my right leg, I'd slip and I'd fall. Grateful Nations on the hunt in Grable, Wyoming with Bandit Brigade Outdoors, a Texas-based veteran service organization that's got a special relationship with a great group of folks here in Bighorn Country. This town embraced us with open arms. 43 different landowners in this town donated their land for us to shoot on. Basically, once we get our veterans here in town, they supply everything needed to take care of them for the entire time that they're here. And I mean, our hats are off to them. We don't know what we did to deserve this type of gratitude and this type of reception. These people, their generosity is just overwhelming. They, they absolutely stepped up. <laughs> As this wildly successful hunt with Banner Brigade continues, it's Sergeant Robert Leonard's turn on point. And he's happy to be here after nearly two dozen surgeries in the wake of an IED attack over 10 tough years ago. I joined the military in April of 2003, joined as a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout. I was injured November 11th, 2005, when a roadside bomb struck my vehicle and resulted in me losing my right leg below the knee. We had just come off an OP, which is an observation post. We were, you know, being a scout, we were the eyes and ears of the military, so we pulled out and we were heading back to go get some chow on the way back. It's just... And then all of a sudden my ears are ringing and whenever the ID hit the vehicle, we rolled over into a sewage canal. So I got all kinds of nasty bacteria, real bad stuff. Every time I tried to step with my right leg, I'd slip and I'd fall. My TC, he grabbed me and pulled me up. And so I think, I think I'm at 19 or 20 surgeries and, uh, and they, they finally got rid of all of it. You may think that you have it bad, but there's always somebody out there that has it worse. It has slowed me down, but I still get to the same spot. You can't let you can't let it run your life. Yet you, you still have to get out there and do what you what you love doing. And that's hunting for this hero. So once a savage rifle is sighted in with federal premium ammunition, this cavalry scout will be ready to rock. We just arrived here at the range. We're lucky enough for Savage to send us a rifle, and I, I haven't shot it yet, but I do shoot a Savage at home, so I think we're going to be right on. Big Bob. Tim. Uh, here, here's the target we're shooting at, correct? Sounds good. And we have Cedric's going to be spotting for you, okay? And then right. I'll show you where you hit. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Tim. All right, we're good to go. All right, Cedric, first shot was here. Where's the second shot? All right, so we got a good group here. So that's pretty much where we're hitting, right here. We're good? Okay. All right, looks like we're good. We're just about an inch, inch and a half high to 200. Man, that, that looks awesome. Good. I think we're ready to go, Tim. That felt great. All right, make your weapon safe. Yes, sir. All right, so we got all sighted in. We have our Federal Premium Ammunition 180 grain trophy bonded tip. We've got our Savage Rifle, our Bushnell Optics, and we're ready to go out and take a white tail or a mule deer hunt. It could be either. Hi, I'm Tim Abel, and I'm retired Army Sergeant Robert Leonard. And you're watching Federal Premium Ammunition's Grateful Nation on the Outdoor Channel. Stay tuned for more action to find out if this guy gets his deer. What do you think? This morning in Grable, Wyoming, where experienced hunter and Army Sergeant retired Robert Leonard is hoping for a buck of a high caliber. Let's do it, Tim. Let's go get to it. All right, man. <laughs>
This is typical Wyoming. I've, I've hunted here for, for quite a few years in the past. I took a little hiatus for, for a while, but uh, I'm back up here, man, and, and it's just, there's just an abundance of game here, and it's a, a, a great place that, for, for a hunting trip. He's not a bad buck. Here comes the other buck. This is heavy, though. We saw a ton of deer in this field, and we saw some small little bucks out there, and they, they were out there coming from about, uh, about 400, 500 yards away. We actually watched them come through the field. A lot of doe as well in this creek bed area, and these two bucks were sitting there fighting. They, they were out there, you know, kind of play fighting and whatnot, so we got to watch that show. Awesome. That is way too cool. It just was not a, uh, an opportunity for us to really take a shot on these guys. They kept moving a bit farther away. Then we tried to make a move on them, and they kind of would drop down into this creek bed, and so we really didn't have much of an option there. Let's make a move. The hunting here in Wyoming is unreal. Just saw a, a ton of deer. We, I mean, we couldn't connect with, with any shooters that first morning, but the environment is so rich with game, it's, it's just unbelievable. It was a good encounter. Yeah, I mean, great, great morning today. I think, uh, you know, <clears throat> Scooby passed. I mean, that one was had a nice big body. He seemed to be the, be the, be the tough guy. Or two of those, two of those were. Right, yeah. And then, there was I love the two that were fighting. Yeah, and that one little guy, he was just sort of scared of both of them. But that was, uh, that was great. I, I think it's, uh, it's good that we pass on and uh, we, I think we can do better. I think we can pass on better. Yeah, it's your hunt though. So if you really wanted them, you would have told me so, right? Oh, I would have told you. Okay. But I know you really want a white tail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we'll see if we can find one. With a white tail at the top of the sergeant's hit list, we hop into the ram that covers some ground and get out to where the Bandit Brigade spotted some shooter bucks. Okay, so we're heading over to uh, uh, this place called the Arena, and uh, they so they have a they've seen a couple of big deer over there. So we're going to go over there this afternoon and check and see what they got going on there. And um, if we can get some eyes on on a, uh, a nice deer, obviously it's up to you. Because I know you shot a lot of mule deer, but you've never shot a really nice white tail, right? No, I haven't. Yeah, I'm, I mean, so that's what you'd like to do. If you, we could get a white, big white tail. Man, I would love to get a big white tail. Okay, let's see what they got here. And if it's something you just you want to pass on, or you know, if we can't get on them, then we'll go over to the other place where we were discussing having our uh, uh, evening hunt and um, shoot that way. Sounds like a plan, Tim. We got over here as fast as we could, and by the time we got here, uh, we saw two big deer being being cleaned and uh, 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 caped and whatnot, and, and they were big, but uh, they were already harvested by two of the veteran hunters here with Bandit Brigade, and uh, God bless them, and I'm glad that they got a nice deer, but uh, man, I wish we could see one like that. Nice stuff, dude. Thanks, the results of the hunt were immaterial to the participants we had. For them, the thing that mattered was camaraderie. These guys here, you know, I'm hunting with four other soldiers this weekend, and it felt like we, we've known each other our whole life. Uh, it, it's not too hard whenever you experience the same things and go through the same things to really connect with people. They're like your family. I'm Sergeant Robert Leonard, retired U.S. Army. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Grateful Nation. Stay tuned for more action. Oh, hey. What you got? See that shrub line? There's a little draw right there. I just caught some antlers sticking up off there. 200 yards, take them. We're in Grable, Wyoming, where Sergeant Leonard's hopes are waning for a top-end whitetail. So, we march on. Ready to take the next shooter buck of either subspecies. So we came up on the backside of the ranch, the Elkhorn Ranch where we're hunting. And you can see down here, this is the entire valley floor over here. And this is just prime, prime deer 
cover down here along this creek bed. And this is a great vantage point. Great vantage point. You can't do a show like this in a big place like this, like in Wyoming, without glassing, without good glass, without binoculars and optics. You gotta have those things. Not even 100 yards down to here. I mean, anything you'd see in here is, it would be within range. It's just so darn beautiful here, isn't it? See some deer? Yep. They better down or? Nope, moving. Two does. What else is in there? Those, those deer, they just drop in there and disappear. They're gone. I mean, that, that's probably got to be. That's got to be. That's got to be loaded with deer. Yeah. Loaded with deer. We made a decision to come back there that evening, and that perhaps we could just sit up there and just enjoy the view, and just because there's so many deer there, we might see them crossing through, passing through, going to the fields, coming out of the fields, or whatever. Okay. We're a couple hundred yards down from where we were earlier today when we were glassing the field. Um, let's go ahead and go up over the rise and see what we see, set up glass for a bit, and uh, see what comes in, okay? Sounds like a game plan. All right, Mike, come on. With a long sit and not much deer movement, I had a great chance to learn more about this American hero, Sergeant Robert Leonard. Growing up, did you did you grow up as a hunter? I did. Yeah. No, uh, my grandmother taught me. Um, your, your grandma. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and she was she was a great lady. Uh, she had this old bolt action Marlin 22 that that I that I learned how to shoot on right in her backyard. When did you get injured? I was injured November 11th of 2005. Yeah, it was uh, November 11th, Veterans Day of 2005. So you know, I mean, there's no way. I mean, your live day is yeah. Veterans Day. Yeah. Very apropos. Yeah. What about your wife? How did she handle everything? She was great, man. She's a rock. She, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it was pretty nuts for her, but she didn't let on that, you know, she was too worried about it. So, um, and so how long have you been married? We've, we've been married now for uh, 12 years. 12 years being married, but yeah together for about 20. <laughs> wow. You're too young for that. Well, hey. What you got? See that shrub line? There's a little draw right there. I just caught some antlers sticking up off there. Oh, man, he's cool. I had not even noticed about 98 yards down from where we were sitting was a bedded down uh, six by four mule deer. Good spot, bro. I never even saw him down there. I mean, he's in there pretty good. This, this great little 4x6 was just sitting there and had no idea we were even there. What do you think? I think I'd be super happy with that. Hey, get ready. He might pop up any moment, buddy. Oh, there you go. Hurry up. You got a shot? I got him. Stop right there. Go ahead and take him. 200 yards. Take him. Take him. Good hit. There he goes. Be ready. Stand by. No, he's good. He's down. Good shoot. Good shoot. Oh, wow. Okay, you got that tree marked? Yeah, I got it. You ready? Let's go. I want to see him. Let's go. We didn't see the big white tail that we wanted to see. Not a problem. Oh, there he just took off. He just took off. The deer took off and stopped at about 200 yards. Turned broadside. He was able to make a good shot on this deer. Good hit. There he goes. I mean, I, I couldn't have been happier with the way with the way the hunt went. I think he stopped moving. Okay. Touch his eye. There you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nice shot. I, I can't tell you the beauty 
how, what it's like to just be out here as an observer to see what it does to each one of these soldiers, Marines, airmen, sailors, and to feel that you're somehow part of the healing. Such an exciting day, such an exciting hunt. The reality is, Band of Brigade Outdoors and Grateful Nation and the other veterans with whom he was here, that's what made that experience that way. And that's the thing we look for, that synergy when you bring folks together. This affords them the opportunity to not have to be on guard all the time. That you can stop and that you can just be you and it's okay. Look at that. Isn't he cool, man? Wow. That shared experience of what they've been through. You know, God bless these types of operations, you know, like Banded Brigade Outdoors for bringing these guys together. And I just thank all the people that, that helped me to be able to do Great Nation. And to link these two up with an alumni, uh, I gotta thank Bryce Cole. Grateful Nation, salute you.